In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt to sulfate plus ammonium phosphate. And the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have one cobalt atom here and three here. So I'm going to put a three as my coefficient here. Now I have three sulfates and over here I only have one. So I'm going to put a three in front of the ammonium sulfate. Now I have the sulfates balanced, but I have three times two, six ammonium ions. If I put a two here, two times the three ammonium ions, that'll give me six. Then I have two phosphates, two phosphates here. It's all good. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So sulfates in general are soluble. Both of these substances are soluble and compounds with the ammonium ion, very soluble. So all of those are very soluble. Phosphates in general, unless they're bonded to something like a sodium, potassium, or the ammonium ion, they're going to be insoluble. So this cobalt two phosphate here, that's going to be insoluble. It's going to be a solid. And when these two substances react, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants there are three sulfate ions right here. And again in the products. So these are spectator ions. We get rid of those. Six of these ammonium ions in the reactants, and again, six ammonium ions in the products. So we cross those out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for COSO4 plus NH43PO4. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this cobalt 2 sulfate plus the ammonium phosphate. You note the charge is conserved. We have 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. So this all adds up to 0 net charge of 0. Neutral compound, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for cobalt 2 sulfate plus ammonium phosphate. Thanks for watching.